In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option, coming to you courtesy of Immaculata Productions. My name is Father Brendan Kilcoyne. If you like our work, would you hit the subscribe button? Maybe make a contribution via Patreon or PayPal. Put a comment in the comments box, a uh, constructive comment, or um, above all, least at least and above all, keep us in your prayers because we need them. Uh, I just, I, I was hoping to talk just a little bit about a subject I've talked about before, to revisit as it, to reprise as it were, okay? I remember, it must be 40 years ago, it was the first time I went to the States. And I remember being in a conversation and uh, uh, one of the people in the conversation was an absolutely salt of the earth Italian American, Italian-American businessman. Super guy. He's long dead now. Dead of cancer. Super guy. But I remember one stage referring myself to myself as an Irish Catholic. And he went, What's this Irish Catholic? Irish Catholic. When I was a kid, we were told we were Roman Catholics. You're an Irish Catholic. It was, it was a great bit of fun at the time. And I often used to remind him of it. I'm reminded of him now. I'm very much reminded of what he said to me now, lately. I've been absolutely clear in talking up to now on the fact that I am a conservative Catholic priest. I would see that there is considerable disunity in the church at the moment, we certainly have more than a whiff of schism in the German part of the church. It has never been more important for us to reflect on our calling as members of the church, as living stones making up a spiritual building. You remember? Hmm? Living stones making up a spiritual building, of which the stone that the builders rejected has become the, uh uh-huh, uh-huh, cornerstone. A marvel in our eyes. I I just want to say to to some people on the so-called left in the church, really what we call the left are really more, I suppose, just liberal, liberal Catholics, there's a lot in what you say that's attractive. But if you cut yourself off from the vine, you will wither. So for, the, for goodness sake, will you consider carefully what you're doing before you chip away at structures, some of which are of divine mandate and others of which are so venerable that they're, they're, they're a part of the very ecclesial bone and marrow. Are you a sufficiently skilled surgeon to do such a thing? I would say the same to some of the trads. Yeah, to the traditional Catholics, to those who follow the TLM. Now, you may be outraged that I would make that comparison, but the way I hear some of you talk is not a million miles from the way I hear some of the liberal Catholics talk. I hear the same insolent Lily Bolero. Yeah, Lily Bolero, which is the, 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 the rollicking, um, coarse, anti-Catholic uh, song that used to be played by, by the drummers and pipers of the British, the British regiments in the 18th century, Lily Bolero. Insolent. The same insolence to venerable authority. I'm sorry, but I hear it from some, I hear it from some of the, tra- more than some of the traditional Catholics as well. 
I'm just making a plea to you to stop setting fires in a lifeboat. Stop standing up and rocking the damn thing as you look into the water. You'll drown us all. Now, some people are getting upset because the Holy Father has said to them that even though they may continue having the Latin Mass, they have to celebrate the Chrism Mass with their bishop. Well, I mean, poor baby. You know, are those big tears? Yeah, you want a Kleenex? You want a Kleenex? Come on. I can give you my hanky. It's only been used 15 times. You can have it. Will you, will you, will you man up? Woman up? We all have responsibility for this. We have to get in behind the Pope. We have to hold the ship steady. Come on, steady. As if you're going to go on fire like Dracula in one of the old Hammer Horror pictures. You know, you go on fire because you can, ce- can celebrate at a Nova Sordo Mass. I mean, co- that's nonsense. To quote the President of the United States, come on, man. Come on, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. Okay. You, you can do it. Okay. Suck it up with a little bit of morto. Huh? Little bit, little bit of mortification. Yeah, you can stand it. You can throw up later. And the and the liberals, what I mean, I mean the sight of a, the sight of the swish of a soutane, the sight of a cassock seems to it seems to have an almost send some of you into anaphylactic shock. Jeepers, you should have one of those. You know those pencils. You know. There are times some of us would love to have several of them about our person so that we could, you know, mm, mm. come off it. You sit down with the treads, have a pint, have a cup of tea. You know, this, this, this carry on is going to wreck the church. There is only one reason for leaving the church is that you have stopped believing in Jesus Christ. You have stopped believing uh, in, in, in the doctrines. You have stopped believing in the sacred task of the, uh, of the Catholic Church, its nature, as his body, his mystical body on earth. If you have stopped believing in that, then yes, indeed. Then it's serious. Anything else we can do business with, for the love of God, will you just calm down and sit quietly in the boat until we sort out our business. I would say to the liberals in the church, you know, the odd Sutan never hurt anybody. Yeah? The odd ornate brass candlestick. Or you could live with a, a bit of lace. I think you could. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think you come out in a rash. And I would say to the trads, go, will you loosen up? Open a button of the soutan there and have a pint of whatever you're having. Let's let's get on. Let's get on as citizens of the New Jerusalem. Right? Brothers and sisters. And get in behind the Holy Father. Yeah? Sails down, full sail. We have things to do, places to go. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs>